for results. And I want to start by first congratulating you, well, thank you on all that, uh, that you have done and are doing. And ask you the first question is, what is the secret of this administration? Because never have we seen an administration perform at this high level with this right. much success. I think it's a couple of things. One is courage. He has the courage of his convictions. Second is determination to live up to his campaign promises. Those are very rare characteristics in Washington, D.C. That, that is certainly true. Uh, and, the, and the animosity of the left, uh, its commitment to subverting this president and quite literally trying to overthrow him, hasn't even slowed a moment that I can detect of uh, progress uh, on the president's policies and his and his goals. No, it has not, and I don't think it will. Uh, nor, interestingly, has it slowed down his ability to deal with foreign countries. China, if they took the impeachment seriously, would never have done phase one. European Union's trade commission was in visiting with a bunch of us today. He expressed in an interview with the South China Morning Post of right. all strange papers, the Beijing Daily, fear, fear that the tr deal that President Trump made with President Xi would force Chinese companies to buy American products instead of European. Right. So it's not only the Democrats who are frightened, it's our trading partners who are frightened because they see Europe is next in the radar scope and they're scared. And of course, the discussions I presume today were part of the, uh, the uh, effort to negotiate a reasonable response to subsidies and trading relationships around the world. Uh, I, and I won't, uh, well, I will inquire how those talks are going. Uh, so let's start there. How are they going? Uh, trying to, again, level that balanced, uh, fair and reciprocal trading relationship that the president wants with every country, not just China. Right. Well, just to put a number to it, the two, de the two deals, the USMCA and the China deal, right. that's over $2 trillion of bilateral right. trade that's been changed. Put that in perspective, that's 10% the size of our whole economy in momentous. I mean, this is really big stuff, and everybody else is aware of it, and they're aware of something else. This strengthens the president's negotiating hand with the next people, because he's already done some work with Japan, right. got good concessions, redid chorus. Now these two giant deals, his base, his economic base is totally solidified. Whatever fears people might have had of recession next year, forget it. These deals together are probably a half a point, maybe even three quarters of a point on the economy. Additional economic growth yes. for this year in prospect, and Wilbur Ross says no recession 2021 either. I think it's almost mechanically impossible to have a recession next year. Now, if the Federal Reserve goes crazy and raises rates, could be all bets are off. But assuming. I, un I understand that uh, Chairman Powell is paying attention to his tutor. <laughs> Well, he did reverse three mistakes. Yes, he did. He did. And uh, you're going to be in Davos, the president uh, yes. and, and, and uh, his leadership team will be there. Uh, when you go to Davos this year, uh, what do you expect to be different, uh, both in terms of the message the president will carry and uh, the reception for him and for the administration and its policies that are obviously reshaping uh, not only our trading relationships right. with China uh, and the North America, but indeed in prospect the world itself. Sure. Well, what's fascinating, remember the president came two years ago. We couldn't right. go last year because of the shutdown. But two years ago, he laid out his plan, and now he's able to say, guess what? It all worked. It all worked. And they know it. Trade, the whole way they're posturing trade for Davos is very different. Now they're saying, how do we adjust to the new world? Well, what's new in the world is basically the changes that President Trump has made. President Trump 
is reordering the world order. Indeed. He, he is reshaping uh, the trading relationships, the international global trading uh, relationships are now moving toward his ideal, his model, his paradigm, mutual, reciprocal, balanced trade. Right. And it isn't even just trade. He's also changing the relationship we have in terms of who pays for us defending them. Big numbers going more into NATO from the European countries. That's just like a trade victory for us because that's less that we have to foot for defending them. It's outstanding and uh, amazing to watch, and I know uh, it's got to be deeply gratifying to be part of making such history. Well, it is. Stay tuned for more. Oh, we will. We will.